Can the United States F-35 withstand the threat of Chinese hypersonic weapons? Recent advancements in China's hypersonic technology have raised global concerns, sparking questions about whether the United States is losing its technological edge. Does the U.S. have the capability to counter these hypersonic threats, or is it at risk of falling behind in this critical area of defense? Join us as we delve into the groundbreaking comparison of two ultimate weapons, the F-35 versus Chinese hypersonic threats. China is making fast progress in hypersonic missile technology, putting it at the forefront globally and raising concerns in the United States. One major example of their advancements is the DF-17 missile, which is designed for speed and precision. It is a medium-range ballistic missile that uses solid fuel and is road mobile, meaning it can be transported and launched from various locations. They have also made breakthroughs in thermal protection and cooling systems, which are crucial for managing the intense heat these missiles generate during flight. These developments give China a clear technological advantage, showing their growing strength in modern military innovation. It's certain that they are not stopping anytime soon because they recently achieved another major breakthrough in hypersonic missile technology, particularly with its thermal protection system. Chinese scientists have made significant improvements by adding steel nose cones to their new missiles. This advancement is crucial because it enhances the missile's ability to survive the extreme conditions it faces during flight. In August, China also announced the development of an innovative cooling device designed to manage the intense heat generated during hypersonic flight. Hypersonic missiles travel at incredibly high speeds, which results in a huge buildup of heat. Without proper cooling, this heat could damage the missile's guidance system, affecting its accuracy and performance. With the new cooling technology, the missile is better equipped to withstand these extreme temperatures, making it less likely to malfunction. This improvement allows the missile to fly more effectively and remain undetected increasing its chances of successfully reaching and eliminating its target. These technological advances are a significant step forward for China's hypersonic missile program, giving it a performance edge in the field of modern warfare. As the race for advanced weaponry intensifies, these innovations could change the future of missile technology and warfare. One member of Congress is raising concerns. Representative Doug Lamborn, who is part of the House Armed Services Committee, held a hearing for a subcommittee this spring. The mood was serious. One expert on the panel said the United States is clearly falling behind China. Jeffrey McCormick, an intelligence analyst with the Defense Intelligence Agency, stated that China now has the world's leading hypersonic arsenal. The United States still has reason for optimism. Surprisingly, one of the best American hypersonic missiles is being developed by the U.S. Army. Known as the Long Range Hypersonic Weapon, or by its nickname, the Dark Eagle. This missile has impressive capabilities. It can travel at speeds exceeding 3,008 human miles per hour and has a range of 1,722. The Dark Eagle uses a road mobile launcher, a feature also preferred by China for its missiles, making it a highly versatile weapon. According to the Army, the missile can fly to the top of the Earth's atmosphere and stay just out of reach of air and missile defense systems until it's ready to strike. By the time it's within range, it's already too late to react. Despite China's advancements, all is not lost for the US. The race to develop hypersonic missiles is critical as China has made remarkable progress in this area. Their scientists have been steadily advancing hypersonic technology and already have fast, maneuverable missiles deployed. China's military continues to look for ways to improve these weapons and its rapid progress is something the U.S. must be prepared to match. However, the United States is not far behind, and with the right focus and commitment, it can catch up to China. The issue lies in the way the U.S. military approaches hypersonic development. While China has been able to make steady, incremental advances in their missile technology, the United States has focused on separate programs across various branches of the military. This lack of coordination could slow progress. In contrast, China's approach is more streamlined, allowing them to make faster improvements and field more advanced systems. There's still a chance for the U.S. to regain its lead, but it will require strong, focused efforts. We have yet to experience a Sputnik moment where China might test a hypersonic missile in a high-profile launch that demonstrates its serious intentions to use these weapons for strategic purposes. A launch over Guam, for example, 
could be a powerful signal to the world of China's capabilities and intentions. Until such a moment happens, policymakers like Representative Doug Lamborn, who is raising concerns about the state of U.S. military technology, are crucial. They are pushing for the U.S. to stay focused on developing advanced hypersonic systems to counter China's growing missile capabilities. While there have been some obstacles and challenges in the development of American hypersonic weapons, the U.S. defense industry is known for its strength. With continued investment, collaboration, and focus, it's likely that the United States will catch up to China in this critical area of military technology. The arms race is far from over, and with the right strategy, the U.S. could still emerge as the leader in hypersonic missile technology. This leads us to one important question. Can the F-35 withstand the lethality of the Chinese hypersonic threat? Let's analyze the strength of this American air fighter. The F-35 Joint Strike Fighter is one of the most recognizable fighter jets in the world. Since it began service, this American-made fifth-generation aircraft has flown over 777,000 hours. Currently, 20 nations use the F-35, making it a vital tool for the U.S. and its allies. For years, the U.S. held air superiority with the introduction of the F-22 Raptor. However, both China and Russia now have their own fifth-generation jets and are working on sixth-generation designs. For now, the F-22 and F-35 remain America's top fighters. The F-35 mission systems are like the brain and eyes of the jet, making it one of the smartest aircraft ever built. Packed with advanced sensors and software, these systems give pilots a complete picture of their surroundings, making the jet a powerful tool in modern warfare. Key components include the APG-81 radar, which can track multiple targets over 150 kilometers away, and the Barracuda electronic warfare system, which can detect, jam, and protect against enemy radars. The jet also features a cutting-edge distributed aperture system with six infrared cameras that provide a full to 60-degree view, even at night. All this information is fused into a single clear display for the pilot, giving them unmatched situational awareness. Future upgrades include improved sensors, a more powerful radar, and even the ability to control drones during missions. With these advancements, the F-35 isn't just a fighter jet, it's a flying command center built for the future of air combat. Stealth is one of the F-35's most impressive features, making it hard for enemies to detect. Its unique design includes smooth, curved surfaces, precisely aligned edges, and radar-absorbing materials to minimize radar detection. Even the engine is cleverly hidden from view. The jet's advanced air intake system, called the diverterless supersonic inlet, further reduces its radar signature by eliminating gaps that could reflect signals. Remarkably, the F-35 radio cross-section is so small that it's been compared to the size of a metal golf ball from certain angles, even outperforming the stealthy F-22 in some scenarios. Its outer skin, made from durable radar-absorbent material, is designed to last longer and require less maintenance than older stealth aircraft like the F-22. The F-35 also reduces its infrared and visual signatures, making it harder to spot by heat or sight. It carefully manages its radio signals to avoid detection. While low-frequency radars can sometimes detect stealth aircraft, they are bulky, imprecise, and easy to locate, giving the F-35 a significant advantage. For training purposes, it can even use special reflectors to temporarily increase its radar signature. Its cockpit is like something out of a sci-fi movie, designed to give pilots maximum awareness and control. At its heart is a massive 20 by 8 inch touchscreen display, which shows everything from flight data to weapon systems and alerts. Pilots can customize the layout to fit their needs, making it incredibly user friendly. Beneath this display is a smaller backup screen for emergencies, while advanced voice recognition technology allows hands-free commands. Unlike older jets with head-up displays on the dashboard, the F-35 uses a state-of-the-art helmet-mounted display system. This helmet projects flight and combat information directly onto the pilot's visor, so they can see critical data no matter where they're looking. It even integrates infrared and night vision, allowing pilots to see through the plane for incredible situational awareness. The helmet is so advanced that pilots can lock onto targets and fire missiles without pointing the aircraft directly at them. Each helmet costs a whopping $400,000, but its capabilities are game-changing. While the HMDS had some growing pains, like issues with vibration and night vision early on, 
it's now more reliable than ever. The latest version boasts improved cameras, sharper displays, and advanced alignment features. The F-35 cockpit and helmet work together to give pilots an unmatched edge in the skies, blending cutting-edge technology with pilot-friendly design. Without going on and on about the capabilities of the F-35, to answer the question, it is unlikely for this American aircraft to be able to directly withstand a hit from a modern Chinese hypersonic missile due to their extreme speed, maneuverability, and difficulty in detection, making them very hard to intercept with current technology. What is the United States Air Force doing concerning the threat that these Chinese hypersonic Air Force pose? The United States Department of Defense is ramping up spending on hypersonic weapons after years of warnings that China is pulling ahead in this technology. However, this new arms race comes with risks, especially as relations between the U.S. and China continue to worsen. And there's limited information about China's advancements in this field. Hypersonic weapons, which travel faster than Mach 5, aren't a new concept. The U.S. has been testing them since the 1950s. But investment in these systems slowed over the years. Meanwhile, China and Russia have made significant progress in their hypersonic programs. Russia recently demonstrated its capability by using six hypersonic Kinzhal missiles in Ukraine, the largest single deployment of these weapons during the war. Other nations, including Australia, South and North Korea, Japan, India, and Germany, are also developing hypersonic weapons. The U.S. is now increasing funding and efforts to catch up, but the timing is tense, with U.S.-China relations at their lowest point in decades. This competition could shape the future of global military power. The U.S. Department of Defense reportedly plans to allocate $15 billion for hypersonic weapons development for the Army and Air Force between 2023 and 2027, as highlighted in a Congressional Budget Office report. This figure excludes the Navy's program, which recently awarded a $1.1 billion contract to Lockheed Martin for integrating hypersonic systems into Zumwalt-class destroyers. Experts have indicated that the U.S. may be lagging behind China in this field. Reports noted that China's 2021 test of a nuclear-capable hypersonic weapon surprised many in the defense sector, showcasing advanced capabilities that exceeded expectations. It has been suggested that America's previous technological dominance, once considered untouchable, is now being challenged by China's progress. Observers have pointed out that this shift has spurred the U.S. to accelerate its efforts in several areas. Concerns have also been raised about the absence of treaties governing hypersonic weapons, a situation some believe could lead to global instability, as seen during the Cuban Missile Crisis. However, analysts have noted that the major powers in this domain appear unwilling to pursue such agreements at present. Despite challenges, U.S. defense officials, lawmakers, and weapons manufacturers continue to advocate for hypersonic technology, with the government now committing significant funding to advance the project. Hypersonic weapons are undeniably expensive, but they offer unique advantages that justify the investment. The U.S. military began exploring hypersonic systems as far back as the 1960s, initially focusing on hypersonic flight for transporting people rather than weapons. By the 1980s, however, the focus shifted. During this period, the Air Force tested the maneuvering reentry vehicles, demonstrating that missiles traveling at speeds of Mach 5 or faster could be guided precisely to their targets as they re-entered Earth's atmosphere. The early 2000s marked a turning point when the U.S. began serious efforts to develop hypersonic weapons under its conventional prompt Global Strike Program. Today, two primary types of hypersonic weapons are being developed, glide vehicles and air-breathing missiles. Glide vehicles are launched on rockets and glide through the atmosphere at high speeds, while air-breathing missiles use engines to sustain their hypersonic speeds. Although U.S. hypersonic systems are designed to carry conventional payloads, other nations, such as China, are pursuing nuclear-capable hypersonic weapons. This was evident during China's groundbreaking 2021 tests, which demonstrated the ability to combine nuclear warheads with hypersonic speeds, raising concerns about the global arms race. As the U.S. pushes forward, these advanced systems promise unparalleled speed, precision, and flexibility in modern warfare, making them a critical focus for defense strategies. China has long sought ways to counter U.S. missile defense systems, viewing them as a threat to its nuclear deterrence, according to Lyle Morris, a senior fellow at the Asia Society Policy Institute. 
Since the early 2000s, China has significantly boosted its hypersonic weapons program, especially after the U.S. withdrew from the anti-ballistic missile treaty with the Soviet Union. With no restrictions on developing anti-ballistic systems, China felt compelled to develop a different kind of deterrent. One key focus of China's efforts has been glide-type hypersonic weapons. These systems start their journey atop a ballistic missile, explains Timothy Heath, a defense researcher at the RAND Corporation. Once the missile reaches a certain altitude, the hypersonic glider detaches and travels at incredible speeds within the atmosphere. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles that follow a fixed trajectory, the glider can maneuver in flight, using the momentum from its launch to strike its target with precision. China claims its hypersonic weapons are ready for deployment, which Heath notes is a step or two ahead of the U.S., whose hypersonic program is still in the testing phase. This progress isn't surprising given China's advanced ballistic missile program and the U.S.'s relative underinvestment in similar technologies over the years. The real game changer with hypersonic weapons isn't just their speed, but their ability to maneuver and evade missile defense systems like the Patriot. These systems, widely used in the U.S. and 17 other countries, struggle to track and intercept hypersonic weapons due to their unpredictable flight paths and the ability to skim the edge of the Earth's atmosphere before re-entering. According to defense experts, hypersonic weapons could potentially outmatch even the most advanced air and missile defense systems in the near future, making them a significant development in modern military technology. With China's successful hypersonic missile tests and rising tensions between Beijing and Washington, it's understandable to worry about the rapid pace of weapons development and heated rhetoric. However, there are significant obstacles to the widespread use of hypersonic weapons in combat. The high cost, around $15 million to $18 million per missile, combined with the practical realities of warfare, where basic weapons like artillery are often more effective, makes their use in battle questionable. Experts like Lau Morris and Timothy Heath are skeptical about hypersonics' actual usefulness on the battlefield. A report from the Congressional Research Service points out that critics believe these weapons don't have clear mission roles, don't significantly improve U.S. military capabilities, and aren't necessary for deterrence. In addition, there's concern that China might share its hypersonic technology with other U.S. adversaries, such as North Korea, Iran, and Russia, all of which are developing their own hypersonic programs. As China and Russia strengthen their defense and technological ties, sharing knowledge on hypersonics wouldn't be surprising, says Elsa Kania, an expert on national security. One of the main concerns about China's hypersonic program is that the U.S. might be caught off guard. The fear of appearing less dominant in defense was especially strong after China's successful missile tests in 2021. General Mark Milley, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, called these tests China's Sputnik moment, drawing a comparison to the Soviet Union's 1957 launch of the first artificial satellite, which shocked the U.S. Despite the concerns, Heath argues that hypersonic weapons would not be the deciding factor in a conflict between the U.S. and China or any other nation with hypersonic capabilities. The U.S. has a significant edge in other military technologies like stealth aircraft, long-range bombers, aircraft carriers, and submarines, conventional forces that allow the U.S. to project power and dominate adversaries without relying on long-range missiles. As the U.S. continues to invest in hypersonics and other nations, develop their own capabilities, it's crucial to establish some sort of agreement on how these weapons should be used in combat. Unfortunately, Morris notes, this may not happen until a major escalation forces both sides to confront the issue. With the current lack of communication between China and the U.S. military, the risk of misunderstandings or miscalculations is high. Furthermore, most significant weapons agreements have historically been between the U.S. and Russia. With Russia pulling out of the New START Treaty, the last major nuclear arms control agreement, the hope for any future defense technology agreement seems distant at best. Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click on the link on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there.